And President Trump testing positive for COVID-19 along with many of the world leaders shows that anyone can be exposed to the virus. 12 News' Gary Burton joins us to investigate how Trump could have been exposed to this virus. Gary? That's right, Gerald. In the president's case, although we may not know for sure, Dr. Timothy Quinn, who is on the city of Jackson's Coronavirus Response Task Force, tells me that it's a high chance that previous White House events may have prompted the spread for the president and his entourage. Before knowing of President Trump's positive COVID-19 test, Saturday at the White House was the introduction of the Supreme Court nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. As you look in the crowd, you see very few masks. In these large gatherings, he's around a large number of people. And with COVID-19, which is spread by respiratory droplets, theoretically, the more people you're around, the more likely you have of a chance of contracting COVID-19. Part of what has driven the coronavirus spread is what some doctors call super spreaders. This is a term that refers to both the people who spread the virus to a significant group as well as the event where the virus is passed to such groups. Dr. Quinn says these gatherings aren't healthy. We need to limit these events as much as possible. During the first presidential debate on Tuesday, President Trump said, quote, I put a mask on when I think I need it. Tonight, as an example, everybody's had a test and you've had social distancing. And criticized former that? Vice President so Joe we'll Biden for his consistent mask behavior. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it, he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. Dr. Quinn says even those who follow health and safety precautions can fall victim to super spreader events. But we can't rely on checking temperatures and asking questions about symptoms because, as I said, a lot of the people that are spreading COVID-19 are asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic. And Dr. Quinn adds that in order to avoid becoming a super spreader, use the recommended precautions like minimizing exposure to others and wearing a mask because as we have seen, no one is immune. Gerald.